audio. The second important thing to making a good video. Now, there are so many options here. Like, the Blue Yeti, of the USB microphone that you're able to plug into your USB drive, your USB on your computer, plug it in, turn it on, and get professional sound audio quality. That's top. To be able to get audio, get able to get top-notch audio recording that actually sounds good and that sounds professional enough for videos. And then you can go down the other route because not a lot of people have money for that, you know, because it's expensive. Like that thing's over a hundred and hundred dollars to ninety dollars to fifty dollars. Like it's a lot of money just to start off on a YouTube channel. Because think about it, you're starting off on a YouTube channel with with barely any money, barely any views, and this is like the hugest risk you can be taking. So then there's the budget side, the blue snowball. Why not? I mean it has the USB microphone, it just doesn't sound as good. And for a budget microphone, it's good. Now from our last video, we talked about a budget laptop. What is perfectly good for a, for on the budget laptop? What you need a perfectly good editing budget laptop. Now that video really was the for, for this for this video idea that really was like editing. That was a good editing laptop. But now we're on to the microphone side because obviously you start a YouTube channel, you're gonna need sound, you're gonna need audio, you're gonna need to hear, you're gonna hear need to hear me talk, you're gonna need a camera. We have so much to cover in this channel on this series, this four-part series. So, audio quality. What do you get? It's well, interesting because you could go with the uh, with Blue Snowball and the Blue Yeti, like I said before. But, what if you don't have a budget for that? What if you're down to seven dollars? Seven dollars. Or something like that. Like, what if you're like strictly like, what if all you have in your wallet is a pack of gum and seven dollars. Well, in this video, I'm going to be showing you the best microphone that you can get just for washing dishes. This is going to get you started in your career on YouTube. Let's get started. is an interesting type because I love it and hate it at the same time. But like, it's a good microphone. It's called Newer 300. It's a cheap microphone that's around seven dollars. I was literally able to get this with a free app that I used to get gift cards. Like the you know those apps that you watch advertisements or watch games with. I literally used that for a couple of days and I got a, and I was able to buy a microphone. That's insane because that's a high quality microphone for that price. But that, that's insane because that's an actual microphone. But what is how is it actually? Well, if you're going down the budget side of like a seven dollar microphone, not even a twenty dollar, thirty dollar, fifty dollar, seven dollars, you're gonna have to take some cuts down. Because one, it does not have any bass whatsoever. Now, it's not bad, it's not like horrible, but you really gonna want to it does not have enough bass at all. It has a lot, it's over simulated with the tremble. Now, you think that's a bad thing because you're going to sound too loud and like too like over the top and it may annoy your audio viewers. But a lot of like these companies actually put microphones down to a budget level. A lot of these. A lot of these companies actually put microphones. Actually, a lot of these companies actually put their microphones down to a budget level. A lot of these companies actually put their microphones down to a budget level. Make it sound so soft that they can barely hear a thing. And then there's this hissing noise, this white noise. And then there's white noise that comes up and you can barely hear anything. You know, like, here's an example. Like, here's like, basically the white noise is like the static you hear at the end of a cheap microphone or something like that. But this microphone actually, and the reason I chose this one is, it doesn't do that. It's louder than expected, which could be a bad thing. Which I can agree because if you're screaming like I do, because I scream a lot, it's it's not a good microphone. But if you're if you're able to like stay like at a normal pace like right now, it's actually not a bad choice because yes, it's yes, it's a little over high, it's a little over pitched, but it's not as bad as I thought it was. So It's not as bad as you think, because it works. So what do you get when you come with it? Well, you get a microphone and a cable. Yeah. And honestly, we're not going to judge the build quality. Now, there's a couple steps I want to do with this. The, the steps are going to be this. Now, this is my perfect quality recommendation. 
Now this are my five steps, and these are maybe my three steps into making a perfect sound quality microphone. What actually standardizes one? One, it needs to be able to have actually understanding audio, not something that sounds all mumbled and jumbled and basically you can hear anything. You can, you can barely hear anything. Two, it needs to it needs to be able to be edited and still be usable because a lot of people use sound effects or change their voice like in their YouTube videos or anything they're doing, so it needs to do that. And three, it needs to actually work. Now you might have wondered why I, you might have seen four and I actually got rid of build quality. And yeah, I know it, it actually works. Yeah, that actually happens. You buy a lot of cheap products and they actually don't work. Yeah, it sucks. Four. Now you might be wondering why I didn't add build quality. Well, that's actually because I'm not judging build quality for seven dollars. Why? Well, think of it this way: seven dollars. That's more than you paid for your lunch. Well, depending where you go, if you're going to like McDonald's to get the 99 cent meal, yeah. But yeah, that's where you're paying for like an actually decent lunch, which is insane. Seven dollars is more than you're paying for an actually decent lunch, which is insane. So, so I'm not judging build quality because. It's a cheap microphone, and honestly, if you be careful, I feel with prices with products built cheap and stuff, if, you, if you're not careful with it, it's gonna break. Honestly, the build quality I feel with you people with, you need to be careful, because honestly, you're not gonna be taking this out with you vlogging. You're not gonna be doing that. It's supposed to be a studio in-home microphone, which is not studio quality, but we'll get to that. So, you're gonna want, so honestly, I'm not gonna judge it for build quality, because it's not, it's not, and a B, and like it's seven dollars. You paid more for your lunch, like I just said. So honestly, I'll tell you the truth. The build quality is garbage, but I'm not judging it off that because if you be careful, you don't like move it around, and move things around, and stuff. You'll be fine. Like my t my my laptop I have, not this one, but another one, is built completely out of the cheapest plastic I've ever seen in my life, and it's still in perfect condition because I take good care of it. And I make sure my electronics are safe. You're gonna be moving it around, jumping it around, playing catch with it, or I don't know what you can catch. You might catch your microphone, you're trying to like bend it, you're, it fell on the floor, like that's your fault. It's not the company's fault. Yes, they built it cheap, but there's a reason they built it cheap because they have cut down on the budget. So, yeah. So, how's the sound quality? So, the sound quality actually isn't that bad. It's like I said, it's overly trembled and it just sounds a little high, like very high, like loud and distorted. But there's a simple way you can do that because. A lot of like big, like a lot of like, like a lot of like ways, because because now there's digital audio, there's, but it's not a big deal because now there's digital audio. Digital now the, it's not really a big deal because now there's digital audio tinkering. And honestly, that's the best part about it. Because you're able to just go into an example. Let's just say Audacity, for example. So you're able to go into Audacity, grab your audio clip, edit it, change the bass, change the tremble, put the pitch up, pitch to whatever you want, no matter what it is, and it'd be done in a second. So, like, it's so simple to use and so simple to do. Like, you could do it with anything. Honestly, if you have any microphone that sounds good enough, and you can actually hear things, but maybe it's a little low on the side, maybe it's a little low, or maybe it's a little too high. You could lower that down in Audacity by going to bass, tremble, or volume, <coughs> voice changing with your voice a little too high pitch. You can change it. So there's just so much you can do to fix it. So like, I, I can't really judge it because you could fix it yourself. Because honestly, if you spent a little bit of time editing your audio, fixing your audio, making sure that it's at the right level, that actually like is like, usable for viewers to listen to and stuff in an audience you'd be fine so this microphone's not bad for them now there are some things that i would not use this for for example a studio here's our studio here's our microphone this is not a studio microphone this is a cheap microphone that you're using to start up if you're starting a studio like us with this with a with a 1080p camera with an expensive microphone you're not going to want it because if I, because my this microphone right here, the AQE, the AQE microphone. This is a professional sounding microphone. It costs over hundred and twenty dollars with the Phantom power supply included. So it's very expensive. The microphone you're buying is seven dollars if you buy it, of course. Which honestly, it's not meant for studio. Like if I'm gonna be in the studio like this. I want to be a professional, be able to move my arm around, change the 
be able to put a pop filter because it doesn't even come with a pop filter. Now, I guess you can buy one, but for a professional audio sound quality, you want that with you, which is why I want it with me. Professional, you're not going to be able, which is why I want it with me. This is not, this, 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 this microphone is not for studio. It's not, it's not for a studio. You're starting like a big YouTube studio tech channel or like a big company. This is not where you go with. Cause if you're gonna start a company with a budget, budget microphone, you're gonna have budget audio quality and then your viewers aren't gonna like you. But if you're doing this like, you're just like a kid like around 14, 12, whatever you are, and you just wanna do YouTube for fun and try it out and see what you can do, and you see on microphone, this microphone will be perfect. Honestly, the biggest thing I can recommend it with is a gaming channel. My YouTube channel that we have right here, here you go, here's an example, Game Rex. That YouTube channel, Game Rex, that YouTube channel is, that YouTube channel is what I use to play all my gaming videos, and I play all my games with them. Now, that channel is perfect for what I use it for. And the microphone I use for is perfect for what I use it for because all I have to do is I can edit the audio, I can fix my audio, I can do whatever I need with the audio, and I won't have an issue with it. Like, I won't have an issue with it because if I need to change down the audio tone, I can change it down during editing. Because gaming, I'm just sitting in my room, I'm just sitting in my basement with my background and my, well, at my computer and I'm just recording a gaming video. Videos like this where I actually have to where I actually have to read off a script, memorize a script and everything like that. I can't do that just on I can't editing a script, memorizing a script and everything like that. I can't use a crappy microphone because then the viewer who is wanting to learn from our videos and actually become educated on what they need for this example to get a mic a budget microphone to start YouTube. They are not going to feel like they can trust you because you're using budget equipment. Now, yes, this camera doesn't look the best, but it's 1080p 30 FPS. That's the same. That's the same frame rate and and resolution that Austin Evan uses. A very very famous tech YouTuber who does a whole bunch of videos. And he's very successful, very rich. But that's what he uses, and honestly, that's exactly what we use. Now, our lighting's a little bit different, so yeah. It's different. It's a different case. Now, I'm not going to be using a studio microphone. I'm not going to be using this microphone for a studio like that. I'm not going to have one on my desk. No, I want it as an arm. I want to be able to retreat. I want to be able to move it around if I need to. I want to be able to adjust my, my surroundings because that's how you become professional. But if you're just using this for a cheap gaming, my, gaming microphone for like Minecraft, GTA, whatever you're using for, you would be perfectly fine with this. You have no issues with it. Because honestly, it's not a bad pick. It's good, it's fast, and it's simple. It would get the job done for you guys. It'd get the job done for playing games, recording, maybe fixing up a little bit of the audio and audacity. You know, watch a couple of tutorials. Here's a link, link in the description right now for some tutorials if you want to like learn how to fix some audio and audacity. And it would be perfect for what you fix your audio and audacity with like bass trouble and stuff. So yeah. We're giving you full guides down there, so if you guys want to get professional, just check it out. And you can actually make a professional audio sounding microphone for a gaming channel. Okay, but even if like a radio channel or a podcast channel, you can still use this for it because that's all it is. It's just audio. Now, as you go on, you're going to want to upgrade to something like this because this is a big microphone. It's a very expensive microphone. And I know we shouldn't have bought a very expensive microphone starting off on YouTube, but we just wanted to get it out of the way now. So, it's very expensive, but that's what we wanted. Over time, you need to upgrade it. Because that's just how it's going to work. But, as you go on now, with what you have, starting off with this, you'd be perfectly fine. Now, I have so much about this, but honestly, why don't you guys just hear it yourself, hear the audio. First, I'm going to do it with a raw piece of footage. This is completely unedited, and this is just a test. What's going on, YouTube? It's me, Gamers, and welcome to a brand new video, guys. And today, guys, we are playing not Mafia 3, not Mafia 2, Mafia now 1. Now, before you click on this video, whoa, 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 stay, stay, stay a little bit. I swear to you, this video is going to be worth it. Look, here's the free pasta. There you go. Because it's your choice. Because a lot of, it's 2017. There are so many ways to alter things these days. There are so many ways to alter things these days, and you can get it done. So, it's really your call on what you want to do. Now, it's really your call on what you want to do. If you just don't want to edit out the audio, I mean, 
because you're lost because you're gonna lose potential viewers, subscribers. But if you don't want to, then you're, then do it. But for us, for me, I'm able to edit it and make it actually sound somewhat professional. It's not gonna sound like a blue yeti or like a gaming microphone like that or maybe even a blue snowball. But it could sound close to it, not the blue yeti, but blue snowball. So it's not a bad choice because it can get the job done now. You, as you see from these shots, it actually looks like a Fisher Price toy. Like, honestly, it feels like a Fisher Price toy. Like, you know, there's toys you get for your little brother, sisters, nieces, or something like that. When they're like five years old, you give them one of those to like play around with. It literally feels like that. It's kind of like peanut butter and ketchup. They don't mix, obviously. But, because it feels, it's supposed to be a professional audio microphone, but it feels like a toy and that's what kind of and that's what kind of d takes you out of it if you know what i mean it kind of doesn't make you want to keep it it kind of makes you want to like push it inside saying oh this is a kid's toy but if you actually like lower your expectations for those qualities that's actually pretty good now our microphone is like peanut butter and banana delicious mm -hmm. in that thing it's professionally built it has it's an all metal chassis all metal with the stand and everything like that, so it's a perfectly good microphone. But for this one, you can tell it's budget. Now that's your call because you're gonna. It feels like a Fisher Price toy and everything. Else. But if you start off with a gaming channel, radio channel, maybe something small like this, I'd go for it because I'm a starving kid. I need I need something good that I I need some equipment. I have to start off with something. So yes, I would go for it. And it's your choice. If you feel it's good enough, you should go for it too. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys want to come over to our friends, click the like button. You know, don't stop clicking it. If you guys want to come over to our family, click the subscribe button. I love you all. I love your family. I'll see you all later.